Well, welcome to a different thing that we're doing today. I'm doing some gold leaf practice. Um, I've got some projects drying over there that I did some gold leaf, some silver leaf on, and I had a bit of issue. And so I'm doing some practice runs just to get a feel for this. This is a new setup that I'm using. I'll show you guys, this is my gold leaf box, but this is just a basic, um, sheet of black metal or it's just a piece of metal that i took and i paint this is all dirty but painted it black so that way i can do it and then i taped off some some dividing lines so we can get in there and i got different sizes and uh, i'll take you through my my gold leaf box here we've got the silver leaf some variegated let's see what else we got in here this is more silver leaf gold leaf and this is the sizing glue that I use, or that I'm trying to use. I was using this stuff before, um, gilding size. This takes 45 minutes to, to set up before you can apply the gold. And this is like five minutes. But this is a water-based glue that you mix one part to one part water, and you put it in the airbrush. This is you brush on with a, with a paintbrush, but getting the glue, thickness and amount is is part of the process of learning how to do this whole gold leaf thing so that's what I'm what I'm doing today uh, I got this cool old set of gold it came with like an old brush I don't know it's from like the 1800s but this has like 20 books of 23 karat gold leaf in it and then I got a crap ton of silver leaf, some brushes, some cotton balls. So we'll we'll get through it and then there's there's these tools that I got here. These spinners, different size spinning tools. We will look look over those when we get to that point. So this might be a long video guys. I'm just gonna kinda play around and, and throw some stuff down and see how it see how it goes. Get you in the frame here. So I already mixed up some of this size glue size and glue and i've got the airbrush here and i'm just using a trigger feed airbrush and i like this one because it has a stopper on it that dictates how much you can pull the trigger back and how much flow you can get so that way you're not softening down the glue because like i said it's the real trick to this whole thing is getting the right amount of glue the right time between the glue drying and putting the leaf down and all of that will determine how well the leaf looks in the end if it breaks when you start to mess with it or it's it's a it's an art it's a definite art so we're going to try it out we got some silver leaf here this is premium a spinning leaf and these come on sheets this is loose leaf in between tissue sheets they have other leaf that's like patent leaf that's stuck to those tissue sheets and that makes it a lot easier to work with but this stuff is cheap and it's uh fake <laughs> this is imitation silver leaf and this is uh imitation gold leaf other than the stuff that i have in the box still that's like pure gold and i'm using this stuff for the practice sessions because i'm just gonna burn through it you know and just practice up with it so without further ado pour some of this glue into the paint hopper and we'll see if we can get some glue down on this. I'm going to start on this side and work my way through it. It's, you're supposed to get two or three coats on this, light coats. Let's see how it goes. It's hard to see. There's my compressor kicking in. You can hear this compressor that I got over here. This Fortress compressor. It's pretty silent compared to most compressors. Like, I'm just talking normally right now. So it's about... You know, it's about a normal size uh, sounding voice. But I'm just going to put some of this glue down. Light coats first. It's barely coming out of there. It's coming out of there. If 
put a fan pattern on this one. Get out of the way. All right, so, so we'll give this a couple minutes to, to set up. Let's see if it starts getting tacky. Well, it's still pretty low. I'm just cranking up the volume on my airbrush here to see if that would give me some more flow on it. I know guys, I mean painting is, you're watching the paint dry most of the time, so this isn't going to be a super exciting video until I get to the actual laying down the leaf part. Yeah, it's got some tack to it, not a whole lot there. We'll get some more in here. And this stuff is pretty quick drying once you get it down. You only have to wait a few minutes to get a second coat on there or to uh, start your gold leafing. After I get the third coat down, I'll probably throw some leaf on it. As soon as it starts to get sticky to the touch, that's when you're gonna, gonna be able to start messing with it. keep spraying my hand to make sure that glue is still coming out because it will because it is spray you are spraying glue there's a little needle in there and it can dry up on you so I'm just it's so hard to see it's such a fine mist coming out of there um, you can't really see it coming out so I'm just spraying my finger my hand just to get a get an idea there's not a whole lot of tack to that but I mean it probably doesn't need it Gold leaf will stick to literally anything. It'll stick to skin. It's not super tacky. Top off the tank. Excuse me. Yeah, I set up a bunch of gold leaf today on some projects and it didn't work out how I wanted, so I sanded it off and started over. And then I uh, decided to just leave it minimal. I'll go with the minimal look. up the volume a little bit on it see if that'll get some pretty tacky it's getting there like I said this is a practice run guys I'm gonna on these last couple ones I'm gonna go extra heavy on the glue and see if that makes any difference in the spray that I'm or into, into the, the gold leaf when I put it down so we'll put some heavy lines over here. All right, call that good. I'm gonna rinse this out really quick, guys, off camera here. It's water-based, so it takes Windex to wash it out. Windex and water work. I just don't wanna 
dry up on me inside the gun because this is glue and I don't want my parts glued up. All right. So what do we have next? We're gonna use a, we're gonna use a cotton swab. We're gonna use a brush. We're gonna use this brush. This brush is so fine. These brushes, if you rub them on your head and your hair a whole bunch, it builds up static electricity. And you can actually lift the gold leaf sheets up using this brush so you don't have to touch them because the gold leaf is so fine that it literally crumbles as soon as you touch it. So this is made out of squirrel hair. It's very fine. I mean, it's super soft. But yeah, you can, you can use this to pick. I haven't mastered this technique yet, um, probably because I've been just practicing on the junk gold. And when I get to the real gold, the 23 karat gold leaf, it will really stick to this and then you can just lay it down. So we'll just set that to the side for now. And then we'll use this, I use this barber brush to knock off excess. So we'll do some silver first. I'm gonna pull out a couple sheets here. Put them back. Yeah, this stuff is super fragile, guys. Is it even still on the paper? on the paper so what I'm gonna do is just throw some down and I'm gonna use my finger to pre-burnish it in just to get it so it sticks a little bit Need some more leaf over here Half, half leaf on this side. So, pull this leaf around. Yeah. Oh, see, it, I tore it because it stuck to my finger. So we'll just go ahead and junk that piece. And we'll go on to the next. Let's see if we can't get this down. And I should be, oh, see, I wiped, I just ripped that. That was, a, that was a good learning experience. I should be cutting these into smaller chunks to uh, work it easier so I'm not having so much waste. But it is cheap imitation leaf. And you can see here, you see got spots that are missing. That, those are called holidays. And what you could do is you could take some of this junk leaf that we put off to the side and you could throw it on there in any way you'd like and just try to jam it into those missing spots. Any, anywhere you see a open dark spot, like right here, we got, that's a big one. So I'm just gonna throw that down there. Use up some of this. It's all usable. Even if it's crumbs, it'll stick. As long as you got glue down, it'll stick. Drill some down here. So from there, it'll overlap. I have some variegated stuff that has like patterns built into it. It's like it looks like oil spots in a, in a gas stain. And the variegated, it's tough to overlap because it's it's got its um, patterns in it. So you don't want to have a bunch of pattern overlap that is not lining up or book matched. This one is going to be complete bastardization of the process because I just used a bunch of waste sheets. So we'll do half of this plate on <clears throat> silver and then we'll do the other half in gold. Close this up for now. Slide it into its home. I'm gonna move this table out of the way because I'm getting close to the projects. So we'll do some gold. This got some silver on it, so it's gonna be half and half. So we'll throw some gold onto this bad boy. Throw some golds. Let's see if we can get a couple on here at the same time. Mm 
<laughs> Could use some music, guys. That would be great. I'll have to find some non. I just came off the hood. Dang. So we're just going to throw her down. <coughs> non copyright infringed music selection. But this is just a casual <coughs> video. Excuse me. It's a nice warm day. Ding, 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 ding. Let's see if we can just dunk that on like that, huh? Fourth of July weekend. I am doing absolutely nothing but this. Working on typewriters, practicing some paint. Bad gold, I can, not bad gold, but loose gold, I can, there's a holiday right there. I'm going to take some of this excess gold and fill in this hole on the side here. Take the old piece of tissue paper and push her in. They have these rollers. I'm thinking about getting a roller just because if you get too rough with this stuff, it'll tear. And I would like to have like a better way to make sure this goes in where it needs to go because the tape lines <clears throat> dictate where exactly the gold leaf is where the gold is going to cut off. And you want those nice and deep. So I'm going to brush this off now, brush off all the excess. Floaters, see where I'm at. Yeah, all sorts of. All sorts of uh, mistakes. And then I'm gonna use a cotton swab here to burnish these, these lines in a little bit more. Peel the tape. I got this tape in the back here. Let's peel this tape and see how it looks. <laughs> this is painting every day. Tape and messing, messes, all sorts of messes. <laughs> it says three coats for this uh, glue, but I'm thinking it needs less than that. Or I'm putting it on too thick. I know, I'm not in frame, guys, but you know it's a super exciting pulling pulling tape off the plates. Now get to the gold side. That was a half and half guy. Stuck on there pretty nicely. I 
probably should have had a better system to separate the tape lines because you see all this gap in here. I thought that was a taped area. And it feels nice. See it peeled up right there just by lifting the tape. So there wasn't enough glue right there. All right, one more tape guys and then we'll spin it up and see how it spins. It'll probably take me months, months and months to get gold leaf down well enough to say that I can actually do it. Because you see it's not a great right now. Throw this back in its envelope. Well, I got a couple decent lines, enough to play with. Okay, and then we're gonna take our spinning tools. These are CNC machine turners. You just turn them by hand or you can put them in a drill. It's got a pad here. And this is a super fine sanding disc, like 5,000, 3,000 grit sanding discs. And we got two different sizes, big guy and a small guy for the smaller lines. So I'm gonna practice spinning some of this up. If it's in. So it just takes a little bit of turn. burning through it so I don't know that could be too much glue too much glue or I'm pushing too hard let's try it again on this one trying to get well-defined machine marks so bad not very defined I'm still cutting through I might change the discs I have different sanding discs let's go to this little guy and see if we can turn up some trick is to evenly space it because your eye is going to follow all of the, the marks so I'm definitely going to have to work on this as like a meditation that one wasn't so bad not great quarter turn pushing it down just a little bit doing a quarter turn I'm trying different techniques on how to turn it just to see if, if it'll feel different Take it into the sun, take a quick look in the sunshine and see if it's... Yeah, you can see it's got the, the turned look to it. You can see there's the flat look, and there's the turns. Not bad, not great. I mean, I would like them to be more uniform. 
but that's just because I was blasting through it because we already got a half hour into this video. So I'm gonna do this about a thousand more times, guys, and practice so I don't burn through. You see, I got all these burn through marks. That's not good. This this gold turned out decent. There was no burn throughs that from my my part. And then this center one was um, pretty good too. There was no burn throughs from me doing the thing. So this this first one was a test. I was just digging into it hard to see how it would go. But these are good, decent enough for the first practice run. So I'm gonna cut you guys off here and then I'll start on some more panels. And this is what I'll do a few times a day. Do a couple of these lines and uh, hopefully we'll get it, get it good. Cause I like the way it looks. I just want it to be consistent and perfect. Well, as perfect as human hand can make i guess but all right guys hot rod tiger company this is a little out of the different uh, out of the ordinary but i'm waiting for paint to dry so i thought i'd practice all right guys we will talk to you later